everyone. I just wanted to share this with you this morning because um, I was feeling down. It's been a really hard and heavy week um, with my son's surgery and with lots of other things swirling around it. My lymphedema is back. Um, things tend to pile up like that, don't they? It's not just one little thing. It, it seems like when you get uh, worn down and tired um, that your body starts speaking too. So that's what's happening this week. Like all these things layered over um, trying to keep up with work, trying to full-time care give my son, and then actually do what I need to do to stay well too, to self-treat um, what's going on with lymphedema. So I had to speak this morning for a group of Afghan men and women um, in Afghanistan uh, with, a, with a nonprofit, thank you, Allah Hajan, based here in Washington, D.C., in the United States. And I was feeling overwhelmed this morning about what am I going to say to these people who are feeling and are actually so oppressed right now, particularly women in Afghanistan. What could I offer them as a white American? And um, they had asked me to share my voice. And I feel like in times when we're so down that to get outside ourselves and serve someone else is the best thing that we can do. And I knew that was true because I was like, I don't know if I can do it. I, I'm pretty tired. Um, so much is happening. And then I thought, no, 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 there's so much happening in the world right now. Get outside yourself, get outside yourself and do something. Keep doing something right for someone else. So I thought, gosh, you know, I need to share that message in a moment of these things are happening, woe is me, to I just finished singing for them and talking to them about the vagus nerve and the voice and the pelvic floor and, and how if women's voices are oppressed, everything about them is oppressed, right down to reproductive, reproductive function and GI function and cardiovascular health is all oppressed. It's not just their voices and minds that are oppressed. And so in sharing that, I thought, maybe this is a message for you guys, right? Um, for somebody else to hear. So first I went, I, I taught them the nap meditation. So if you don't know what that is, I really encourage you to go to YouTube. It's free, uh, at Dr. Ginger Garner and just look up nap meditation. And if you're feeling like I have been this week, tired and afraid and um, scared of the unknown and just a host of things, um, and you're a woman and you're feeling like, you're, like your voice is not heard and you've experienced discrimination. And, and if you're a woman, that's pretty much a daily occurrence, right? That you feel it. Then go and practice the nap first. It's so easy to learn and it makes such a huge difference. So in practicing it with these wonderful Afghan men and women this morning, I had to practice it too to teach it. And I began to exhale and realize it's another day. It's another challenge. We can all get through this, especially through what's going on in the world abroad in Afghanistan and the Ukraine. Goodness knows, right? And then... The second part I wanted to share is not just, here's a meditation that can help with the nap, which is N-A-P, like napping. Um, but also I wanted to share this song and hope that it provides some comfort if you're also similarly deeply struggling with some tough stuff right now. It's a folk song, but I changed the words to it, okay? So here goes. You're someone's sunshine, their only sunshine. You make them happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much they love you. 
Just know you'll be there, sunshine, for always. You're someone's sunshine, their only sunshine. You make them happy when skies are gray. You'll never know. Just know you'll be their sunshine for always. No matter how hard something gets, remember you are loved.